Okay, well, here we go again. Hold on a second. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. All right. Um, I need to get a lint brush for my for my uh, background. Okay, uh, so we're going to look at 5.5. 5. And if I can get in here... So we're still doing scheduling, right? So we got that graph, scheduling or time schedule, right? Point, right? Like you're dotting. And we know this sign, right? For again, right? So if something repeats, if you want someone to repeat something, so we just repeat that a number of times for frequency or for happening often. Often, it happens repeatedly. And you notice how we kind of, when we do it, we move it forward in time, because we've got that timeline from the past to the future. So frequency. It, even in like engineering and science things, we still use this for frequency. Sometimes you'll see it with an F. Just do this for frequency. And we've talked about in previous lectures that there are three sizes in ASL, and it has to do with the facial expression and a little bit with how we sign it, where if something happens, uh, it's small. If it's infrequent, uh, happens once. If it's a tiny, you know, you order an espresso and you get this little cup, it's got this kind of pinched, uh, bitter, not bitter, but squished face. Um, if it's a reasonable amount, It happens a lot. It happens regularly. If it happens all the freaking time, right? So uh, once you get your phone number on a spam list, call me every every hour, God, right? Or eh, it happens pretty frequently, like, like uh, rent a movie or something like that, you know, rent a movie. Uh, we go to Blockbuster. Just kidding. Uh, so frequently. So be care. Start to be aware of how you're using facial expression. So it's not just this. It's so facial expressions get more and more important uh, as we go. Um, so I'm gonna. These are notes that I've got on the snapshots and the. Um, uh, the rationale, the first video you see. Um, so again, it's, again, we repeat it. Schedule. Um, we use this. It's, it actually comes from the sign for like to thrill. It's an event, an exciting thing that happens. Boom. Another way you'll see people is do happen. Boom, boom. Happen, happen, happen. Uh, people will interchangeably say, um, like a list of things we have that I have to do. So you're going to start to see them uh, incorporate vocab from previous chapters. So don't just memorize it for the chapter you're working on. Make sure you're learning it and incorporating it in the next chapters. Um, so frequency can also be shown. So this is the generic sign for frequency or how often. Um, you can do how or how often. You can pair those together to make the question. Um, we'll also repeat a sign. Go, 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 go. Um, oftentimes, when I'm teaching this in class, I'll draw on the board one arrow, either going up or down, doesn't really matter, a little lightning, so it shows repeated action, and then a circle. Um, and this is a good time. If I talked about it in a previous one, I'm going to repeat it as if you haven't heard it. So um, most verbs can happen once, repeated, or continuous. We call this temporal aspect, and it's how we put in duration or frequency. So we can go somewhere. I'm, I go to work, right? Once. Happens once, that's it. If I go every day, I go to work. If 
I go all the time to the ice cream shop. What like, I'm even I'm going as, as like lots of times, right? If you go once in a while, it's not you know crazy. And you can't really sign I don't go frequently as in large once in a while. It only works with um, I go pretty frequently or I go all the time. Right? Uh, and that has a target. We're going there. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, it's, it's a kind of generic target. It's just off and I can do it to any direction. We can even be more specific. Like, boom. Uh, this sign is used for like uh, my point. My point is what I go for ice cream all the time. Boom. Now, if you go regularly to one place, you can actually add more than just the index finger. See, there's multiple fingers going. That's how often we go. Um, so we will use this to, I always, if you've got a product that you use exclusively, when I'm doing my laundry, downy. I'm a downy guy. Uh, that's what I use. Other fabric softeners I don't like as much. I've not had as reliable success. Downy, always. So we'll use this as that's my go-to. Is the, probably the best way I can say. Uh, it could be restaurant. I always go to that restaurant. Um, this tends to be. Uh, less specific in that way. And this is very specific. Um, so one way is to target. It's a very specific thing. This can apply to, oh, I go all the time to this movie theater, or go to this Burger King, whatever. So you can see how that it's a common misconception where people will do this when they mean this. Um, so... This is destination, going to. This is object or product. It can be a restaurant. But um, I think you can see the difference in one is uh, motion towards something, a location. And this is focus on a product or a service. So that's the common error. Error, take a Y, repeated. Um, and then we do have to, should, must. And now this video is very confusing. Um, this is the third snapshot. And what's frustrating about it is it's talking about how important the non-manuals are. And then you watch the video and the non-manuals don't really change, especially the last two. So I want to point out that what one of the things they're going to look at is what's happening with the hand. Boom. If you do it once, boom, you have to do that. You must do that. It is, it's mandatory, right? Pound the, pound the desk. If it's, you really should do it. I'm strongly suggesting that you do it. You really have to do it. Um, that is, we repeat it more because it's not as, it's kind of, please don't do this. Now, in English, those four words, should, well, what phrases, should, need to, must, have to, there's very, they're very similar in meaning. Uh, in ASL, there are basically two different ways you can sign it. There's one that's a little bit more tentative. You really should do it. If you don't do it, you're going to have to pay the price, but, versus you have to. No choice, have to, must. So just know that the English words are a lot more similar. The ASL, there are two signs that are produ produced similarly, but have very different impacts. Boom. Mandatory. Should do it. So then to go along with that, the facial expressions, it's that medium size. You really kind of should. Um, uh, you really need to do that. Like it's, you know, you need, and it comes from should and need, 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 need. It's hard to lip read need, right? Because almost nothing moves. Then the next two, boom, the hard ones, must, 
must, must, must, must, must, or have to, have to. And they actually, I think in, in the previous slideshow where we saw this, they like FTO, have to, have to, have to. Have to. It's have to, have to, have to, have to. And I don't want to rely on the, the lip reading so much. I think it's more important to go, oh, it's that big have to, boom, once, versus the, mm, you kind, it's kind of iffy. I'm hoping this makes more sense. Um, the video, I, I watched it and went, what the hell are you trying to teach? It's not clear. And the text underneath didn't help either. I love this textbook. <laughs> anyway, mm. so then conversations. First conversation, there's nothing much in there. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I do need to go back and look at one of the previous videos. I think it's five point either three or four. We talk about meeting and what the way their vocab is using it is a slightly different thing. They're talking about gathering. So here's the group of people and we're all coming together. How often do you get together? Family get together. Game night. It's not a meeting meeting. It's a gathering, a get together. It's hard during times of COVID. We don't get together all that much. Um, but back in the before days, so family gathering. Um, then that was for conversation two. Conversation three, um, never. If you sort of take the blade of your hand and slice a seven, it's almost a Zorro kind of thing. Never. There's an actual older sign, which is, it's almost like, shoo, shoo, shoo. I, I can't do it consciously, but I, when I'm signing with uh, older generation deaf folks, it comes out. It's like, boom, boom, boom. so it's that slashing in the air. Never never. Um, and then the last one, that was for three. Conversation four, how often, how repeated, how repeated. Okay. There's really not that much in 5.5 .5 that needs to be highlighted. Um, we've got often frequently. Sometimes, if there's a wheel, and it sometimes hits, right? It's not da 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 da, -da it's boom. Boom, sometimes. And if it's really rare, make it a big circle, a long time between these two. And you'll even see if we wiggle, it means multiple rotations. It's so infrequent. Once in a while, he will come to work. Boom, boom, boom. Seldom, ultimately. Uh, rarely once in a blue moon. There's no, we don't sign blue moon, so. Um, and never. And again, with all these, look at what's the sign, because there are other regional variations that they'll put in there. Attend frequently, right? Go, go, go. Um, they put frequent to frequent something, and that's not really how we use it is in the, uh, the way they put the English down. So just ignore that. And remember, this is, oh, I use that all the time versus I go pretty regularly. Um, tend or tend. We use this for event. We're now going to pull it just out. I tend to be, I tend to be on time. I tend to be late. And it's the middle fingers and it's, here's what's on the inside of me. You're kind of like revealing. Here's my, here's who I am. And always, this is a little out of order, but always a big circle with the back of your hand. Right? Always. And just think about that as like, it's kind of like this thing. It's like, it's constantly going on. It's always happening. Okay. It's kind of, those signs kind of seem like, well, why aren't they similar? It's that, that sort of sense of, oh, time is passing. Um, every day. And you, it's a combination of tomorrow and yesterday, every day. So just brush your knuckles down your jawline every day. Um, once, once, and 
It's almost like you're striking a match once, twice, three times, thrice. We don't go fourth, fourth, fifth, first, second, third. That's really all we ever use. Um, and you could do once a week, once a month, once a year. So you can incorporate those with any time once. So strike a match with, with uh, your index finger. Every Monday or on Mondays, take the M from Monday and just drag it down the calendar. So every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday, every Thursday, every Friday, every Saturday, or every Saturday. Um, and every Sunday, wipe down with both hands. So you're drawing on that calendar, that column. Um, there are ways you can do every two weeks. We won't get into that, just... Um, I mean, you could do every two weeks on Monday. People will do this, like this one, skip one, this one, skip one, this one, skip one, this one, skip one. Uh, but for right now, every Monday, every Tuesday, that's good enough. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Every Monday and Wednesday, Mondays and Wednesdays. So again, and I can do it from the side, Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. You're like, punch that one, skip this one, punch that one, skip this one, punch that one, skip this one. Every morning, every afternoon, every night, same concept. Look at the week, every morning. So it's Monday morning, Tuesday morning, Wednesday morning, Thursday morning, Friday morning, Saturday morning, right? So every morning. And again, look at the calendar. You're just this morning, 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 morning. Noon, 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 noon. Every day at noon, every afternoon, every night. Right? Because we did all night and all day. We're going to take that same idea of sort of wiping over or pushing through it every afternoon. And move this hand too. Here's the horizon. Afternoon, afternoon, And, you know, every noon, every afternoon, right? So we go through all those. Evening. I mean, evening is just sort of not quite night. So every evening. So every month, every two months, so if, uh, every four months, every five months, you can go all the way up to nine. Uh, you could do every year every two years, every three years, every four years, every five years. After that, six, seven, eight, eight you're going to have, it's hard to do. I've been signing for almost 40 years now. And every eight years, it, it, it's hard to get the eight and the seven. And it's not worth it. We use it rarely. So if I were going to say every eight years, I would say eight year, eight year, eight year. It's a little clear. Six, seven, eight, nine, hard to do. So just one through five. Every year, every two years, every three years, every four years, every five years. Now, technically, it should be the action hand moving out. Um, but it's actually easier to just bring this fist in. It, in truth, you're bringing them both together, but this one ends up, it's moving to the number, so it's got less. So it looks like every year, every two years, every three years, four years, five years. Sometimes you don't even move it every every two years. And I'm even dropping it down to go every two years, two years, two years, two years, two years. Four, 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 five, 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 five. You can kind of see the pattern, how we set it up. And then the conversation starters. So we've just built on the time things from the previous chapters. And then the discussion questions we'll do in class or a variation of it because I think they're boring and I like to do different ones in class. So here's all the vocab. And we went through all of those just now. So I'm not going to go through each and every one. Um, 
So notice how have to, have to, where it says of though, have though. It's have to. That's what the mouth is saying. Must mm, and should. You really should do that, right? It's almost the same as need. Um, so small, medium, large. And you're not starting to see how we apply those to each of those signs. And that's basically it. That's 5.5.